Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel where we explore things related to productivity, PKM and note taking. In one of my last videos I talked about Canvas Candy, an amazing tool created by TFT Hacker. You will find the link in the description down below. But Canvas Candy is not the only tool TFT Hacker has developed. Today I want to talk about the kernel notes system and how you can use it in Obsidian. I started to use this system in Obsidian thanks to the amazing job made by TFT Hacker that I'm going to show you in this video. Before we start, I want to say thanks to all my amazing subscribers. Thank you for your continued support. This is very important to me. But if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll never miss any of my future content. But now, without further ado, let's get started. First off, what exactly are kernel nodes? Well, it's a structure method that splits your nodes into specific sections helping you focus on the most important information while promoting active learning. Let's break it down. As you can see, the page is divided into three main sections, an arrow left column, a wider right column, and a summary section at the bottom. The left column is for cues and questions, the right column for your notes, and the summary section, well, for summarizing. The right-hand column is where you will write your main notes. So be sure to jot down the essential information, keywords, and concepts. After that, it's time to create questions or cues in the left column. You can create them while taking notes or after your lecture or reading, when you review your notes. The cues should be prompts that will help you quickly remember and identify the ideas behind your notes. Lastly, the summary section, in my opinion, is the most important section. It serves as a concise encapsulation of the key ideas and concepts you have recorded. These summaries are typically composed of just a few bullet points and they may seem deceptively simple, but they are instrumental in several ways. One of the primary functions of the summary is to aid memory recall. It serves as a condensed version of your notes making it easier for you to revisit and review the essential information at a glance. It also contributes to your learning process. The summary is written after you've completed your notes, which is significant because when you start to take your notes, you often don't know which ideas will be the most crucial. The process of summarizing forces you to engage with your notes more deeply. By distilling your notes into concise summary, you are essentially condensing the information into most meaningful form. The act of summarization transforms your notes from a mere transcription of information into a structured, meaningful representation of your understanding. In essence, the summary section in Cornell Notes not only serves as a memory aid, but also a tool for active learning. It encourages you to reflect on and distill the main takeaways from your notes, fostering a deeper understanding of subject matter and making your notes more valuable and impactful for your learning journey. Now, to use this note-taking system in Obsidian, I use some CSS snippets that you will find inside the TFT Hackers Learning Vault. I will leave the link to the vault in the description down below. Let me open one note so we can actually apply this system together. Once you've copy-pasted the kernel CSS snippet into your vault, you just need to add a CSS classes property to your notes and add kernel dash left and kernel dash border inside it. Now, if I enable the reading view, you can see the layout has been applied. Here on the right, I have my notes where I talk about the shallow thinking and deep thinking, basically two types of thinking processes that help you to improve your PKM system. And this is one of the things you will learn in the Paperless Movement PKM Like a Pro course. You will find the link to my iCore Expert page in the description down below, so you can have a three-day trial during which you can try this and all the other amazing courses that can help you to build your productivity system end-to-end. -end. Anyway, let's write some cues and summary. To write a cue, I just need to use a callout. Name it cue and write what I want. For example, here I can write shallow thinking and deep thinking differences between first layer 
and second layer of thinking. And here, for the visualization part, I can write something like, what is the importance of visualization? Lastly, I want to add a summary. And to do that, I will use another callout and I name it summary. As title, I simply use summary. And inside the callout, I write a concise encapsulation of the concept. For example, I can write something like cello thinking is about quickly capturing and organizing information. Then I can also write deep thinking is where you delve into concept deeply, combines ideas and goes beyond surface knowledge to understand underlying principle. And again, I can write visualization with written content further articulates your thoughts and ideas. And now, if I go in reading view, you will have a complete kernel notes. You don't need to go through all the notes. You can simply take a look at your cues or summary to remember what the note is all about. Before going through some final considerations, I want to thank TFT Hacker for his amazing job and the effort that he puts in what he does for the Obsidian community. You guys can find the link to the Cornell Notes Learning Vault in the description down below. It's a lifetime purchase and it only costs a minimum of $15. But if you join my Discord server, you will find a special $5 discount code good for the first 100 to register. Just to be clear, I'm not sponsored or anything else. I personally asked TFT Hacker for a chance to offer you guys a discount because I think that this is a valid tool for not takers who use Obsidian. Remember that on my channel, I only bring tools that I personally use or I think are worth to try. But now guys, why you should consider using the Cornell Notes system? Well, it keeps you engaged. With its active recall component, this system helps you stay engaged with your notes, making studying more efficient. It simplifies review. The cues in the left column make it a breeze to review your notes quickly and efficiently. It's super adaptable. You can use it for lectures, textbooks, articles, or any source of information. Better retention. The Cornell Notes system can significantly boost your memory retention. So if you are looking to enhance your note taking and study skills, this method might be your new best friend. Now you know the ins and outs of the Cornell Notes system. Give it a try and let me know how it works for you in the comments below. Remember to follow me on X, Mastodon and Medium and join my Discord server. I will leave all these links in the description down below. Thank you so much for joining me today and if you found this video helpful and interesting, don't forget to hit that like button and share it with your friends who might benefit from this note-taking system. And remember, if you have any questions or you need more information on this topic, feel free to ask in the comments below or even better, in my Discord server. Until next time, happy note taking and stay productive.